The dark fly experiment started in 1954 when a biologist at Kyoto University, Siuchi Mori, took some regular old Drosophila fruit fly eggs and put them in milk bottles. And then he put those milk bottles in pots and covered the pots with the dark cloth. And over the next 70 years, over 1,500 generations of fruit flies have been begat and reared in complete darkness. Whenever they need to switch out vials or feed them or their maggots, they do it in complete darkness and use a weak red light to check on them. Flies don't have proteins in their eyes that can absorb red light, so they can't even see it. Interestingly, they look almost identical to their classic Drosophila cousins who merely adopted the dock. But they have longer head bristle sensory organs and seem to be more sensitive to certain smells. They're also better at getting down in the dark. Dark flies laid around 373 eggs in the dark, but classic flies only laid about 293. And in mixed colonies over 49 generations, dark flies got more of their genes into successive generations. And in 2012, the third successor to the experiment sequenced the full genome of the dark fly and compared it to the ye old fruit fly. They found 220,000 single point mutations and 4,700 locations in the genome where a stretch of DNA had been inserted or deleted. And altogether, that's about a 5% alteration from the wild type strain. Thanks for watching. Me and my community here are working to help raise funds to help Amir and his family evacuate to safety. It's looking like I'm going to have to get frosted tips again for the second time in my life when it's completed. And we'd appreciate any help at all if you could help us out. We'd appreciate it. Thanks.